what is good ladies and gentlemen this is your boy chad bringing y'all another video man and in this video we're going to be talking about everybody's favorite president joe biden um in this video um he announced speaking in front of um some place um about the new world order so he called it the new world order he called it the liberal world order everything so what i'll do here is i'm gonna roll the clip and then we'll talk about it an inflection point i believe in the world economy not just the world economy in the world it occurs every three or four generations as one of them as the uh, one of the top military people said to me in a secure meeting the other day 60, 60 million people died between 1900 and 1946. And uh, since then, we established a liberal world order, and that hadn't happened in a long while. A lot of people died, but nowhere near the chaos. And now is a time when things are shifting. We're going to there's going to be a new world order out there, and we've got to lead it. And we've got to unite the rest of the free world in doing it. All right. So you saw that. You heard that. Now. When I saw this, I was like, yo, the boy been confirming, like, literally, they put the best man in office to be able to confirm for everybody, because Joe, he's so not here that he let stuff slip all the time. So this time, he let New World Order and Liberal World Order slip. Now, you have off-rip media sites and media networks are like conspiracy theorists jumped all over this opportunity to talk about the new world order no we did not jump all over the opportunity to talk about the new world order like it's not a conspiracy theory it's out of the horse's mouth like i don't understand how these you know media groups in different areas always say you know they're jumping on conspiracy it's conspiracy like if anything between the end of 2019 to now conspiracy theories have been right more than people i've seen on the news more than these news liberal networks dropping blog posts and news posts online like conspiracy theories have always been right and like if you if you don't think so then i don't really know where you've been for the last like three years but conspiracy theories have been right about everything covid They've been right about Afghanistan. They've been right about probably Ukraine. They've been right about the media lying to us and just spewing out lies so that way they feel more credible. Like conspiracy theorists have been right. So Joe Biden, you know, um, during the speech, you know, he describes how there is significant opportunities to make some real changes with regard to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Um, adding that it's currently an inflection point that occurs every few generations. So in the clip, he says, as one of the top military people said to me in a secure meeting the other day. So you guys know I was in a secure meeting the other day with some top military people. And, you know, I'm just going to tell the public. So this isn't really as secure as they probably wanted it to be. 60 million people died between 1900 and 1946. And since then, we've established a liberal world order. And that hadn't happened in a long while, Biden said. A lot of people dying, but nowhere near the chaos. Now, when he says we've established a liberal world order, I believe it because I don't know where between the last three years people's like literal common sense has disappeared. Like we all used to be on the same page of, OK, a man is a man. A woman is a woman. You know, you could do anything to transition into the other, but you're still what you were biologically born as. That's all of a sudden here nor there. That's like, uh. I don't know if that's really true, Chad. You're you're actually pushing conspiracy theories and lies. Gender. We now have non-binary and all these other genders. Before it just used to be like male, female, you're a tom girl, you know, or you're just, you know, gay or whatever. And now all of a sudden it's like it's all these different little categories of stuff, and it's like we all used to be on the same page about that. We all used to be on the same page that the elites, the people in power, don't really have our best interests at heart. Now everybody's like, no, the government loves us. They never hurt us. The media would never lie to us. They'll tell us the news every single day. And it's just like, when did we all get off the same train and they boarded a train that's going the opposite direction while we're boarding a train that's going towards the future? I don't know. So this liberal war order that, you know, 
we've established, Joe has said inside of his speech. Yeah, they, they're, they're establishing that liberal world order. Because the more liberal they get the people, the easier it is to control them. Because what I have seen from my point of view from liberals is they go along with the narratives and the agendas because the narratives and the agendas are liberal ideologies. So they just naturally fall in line and just like they're the ultimate NPC robot. And they're just, yes, government, you're correct. Yes, media, you're correct. Uh, no, a man's not a man. A woman's not a woman. Conservatives, you're bigots. Attack. Like, like they're just like the most NPC NPCs I have ever seen. But we'll keep going. And then Biden goes on to say, and now is a time when things are shifting. There's going to be a new world order out there and we've got to lead it. And we've got to unite the rest of the free world in doing it. So not only is there a liberal world order that they've established, but there's a new world order out there and they've got to lead it. Whoever, you know, the weave is probably like talking about the higher ups, the top military officials, Biden, other world leaders, they've got to lead it. So they want the whole, they want to unite the free world in doing it. Now, these key words, these key words go hand in hand um, with like the Antichrist. Yes, so this reminds me of the Antichrist because in the Bible, it basically talks about how the world is looking for some savior and they're actively thinking that the way they're going is the correct way. And so they're all uniting and they're looking for world peace and to make things and they get that world peace and they anoint basically this Antichrist person in charge. And that's from the new world order. Like everything they're setting up is going to be a new world order. Like, for instance, COVID showed us that everybody doesn't have to be inside of work. They can work online so you can work from home. So things starting to go digital. They then said, you know, oh, cash and change. We no longer want to accept those. We want to try to move digitally so that we don't have to worry about, you know, stuff traveling through the money or the money. And so now things are more digital. They're setting up all these digital infrastructures, NFTs, um, Bitcoin, um, all these other infrastructures for that. Then you have a lot of world leaders working together. Everybody's on the same thing. Everybody's saying, we need peace. We need peace. This is out of control. We don't blah, blah. They're all, they're literally asking for it because the only way you can establish a new world order is if you establish the liberal world order to literally follow in the footsteps. So you got to convert everybody to become a liberal. Then once everybody is liberal, you start to establish that new world order because the liberals are going to follow it. Like I said, like, M B C, yeah, new world order, best thing ever. Like they're going to be in lockstep with that actual agenda. But what take, what like really gets me is like I said, how like the news and different posts are like, oh, this is just a phrase. This is conspiracy theories um, or conspiracy theorists, you know, they're jumping all over this. And it's like, we're not jumping over this because it's conspiracy. We're actually happy that someone finally admitting what we've been trying to tell people for the longest. Because when you think about it, it's like people don't really believe like people in this world. They don't believe anything unless they see it with their own two eyes or they hear it. And as crazy as that seems, it happened when I talked about a food shortage. I said, you know, guys, it's going to be a food shortage. Make sure you stock up, stock up, stock up. Everybody around me is like, what do you mean? There's not going to be a food shortage. I don't know why you're saying that. We, why are you storing up so many foods? Why are you storing up all this water? Then the food shortage hits. You know, what's going on? I, I'm glad that we got some stuff because you bought some stuff like like let's let's be proactive, not reactive. All the world is they just they just react to everything. They don't want to be proactive. They just want to just oh like let's hear the warnings, but let's not listen until we're in the storm. And it's like us conspiracy theorists have been trying to get you guys on the same page as us for like literally three years. You know, it took me a while to get like I said, I came into this all basically 2020. And from 2020 to 2022, I've caught up all the way and I'm, a, I'm I'm trying to be proactive instead of reactive. But it's like the world just doesn't seem to understand. 
I don't know what it is. Well, I mean, I know what it is. The world's looking for a savior, but they don't want to go to God and Jesus. So they're looking elsewhere and they're getting elsewhere type of results instead of just going to the main man himself. Like, go to God, go to Jesus. Let's repent. Let's try to get on what he wants us to do. And it'll all be good. Instead, they want to, oh. We don't want God. We don't want Jesus. That's bigotry. Jesus never said any of that. That's not love. That's that's being mean. He he hurt our feelings. So instead, we're going to look elsewhere, bring upon a new liberal world order, a new world order. Anyone who disagrees is a bigot. Anyone who does this must be a Republican, must be a conservative. And it's like, yo, you guys are bringing this upon yourself when these top military officials and Biden and the people who have to lead the way of the new world order for the free world which if you're going to lead a new world order and you're trying to be you know unite the rest of the free world they're they're going to try to put the free world to where it's not free anymore like it's not even that difficult to understand like the world is not going to be free if you have a new world order and there got to be people who think they have to be the leaders of it We've got to lead it. Like, who are you and why do you have to lead anything? But I'm really just glad that, you know, Biden's really saying this out loud. He's the perfect man to say it, man. He is the president who is the perfect man to say it. I mean, he couldn't have said it any better himself. He's the perfect man to say it. But yeah, man, they're just leading. Like, literally, we're on, like as Marcus Rogers said, we're on the train headed towards what's already been spoken about in the Bible. And, you know, at first it was like, I don't really see it because it wasn't that much stuff happening. Now we're like, we're chugging, like, yeah, like COVID, Afghanistan, Ukraine and war. Now we're announcing new world order. Like we're getting towards the end. We're get, we're, we're literally headed there. I can see it. I'm like, mm. the end is not like when I hear all of these things, Look up to the sky because our redemption, our redemption draweth nigh. And I'm like, okay, I got to get prepared. Like every day I'm like, I got to I gotta take my walk with God. I got to take my walk with Jesus very seriously because if I'm not taking God and Jesus serious, then I know that these, I would say these are like principalities and spiritual wickedness of high places. They're taking it very serious. They, they know what they're headed to. They know what they have to do. They're putting the steps in order. And now they're announcing it out loud. Like the devil, like I said a long time ago, he's no longer hiding. But now he's shouting like, yeah, do something about it. And it's like, we got to get right. We got to pray. We got to do what God asking us to do. Do what God's telling us to do. Get in our word because it's getting serious out here. And people are really asleep. Like I said, the NPCs are in lockstep order new world order liberal order like they're they're on their mission we got to be on our mission but anyways man thank you guys for watching this um i just thought that was super crazy that biden really not even crazy because it's not crazy you know their they, their actions have been showing that they're doing this new world order but now it just put a nice name to it for us conspiracy theorists to jump all over but yeah, man, thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment down below on what you guys think. And as always, it has been your boy Chad, and I'm out. Peace.